it's time for my weekly video. Um, I have finished my website and it is totally transferred from where it was at WordPress.com to its present server. So like all like 1,500 of the pages and posts are totally done. And um, I have actually, I do daily walk videos for my Patreon supporters, $10 and up. And they are all hosted from my website now. Mm -hmm. um, I Because I am totally unscripted and I just am, do, if you want raw gale, you need to be my Patreon supporter and uh, join us at our Friday night hangouts and uh, you get to hear my daily walk videos. I'm getting, I'll be going for a walk. Um, my latest post at my website is a mind boggler. Uh, I have an IQ over 9,000 along with Brent Spiner. Brent Spiner and I have the highest IQ of anybody in the world. Yes, we have, it is over 9,000. And the stuff that I have figured out, uh, Satan's IQ is 450. His emotional IQ is 500. We have an IQ scanner on Church of Gale. Lauren McBride's IQ was average before she became the Antichrist. Her IQ, the latest we measured it, is 300. Uh, it's enough, but her emotional IQ is retard. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to be. Anyways, you have got to check out my website because um, you say, what is the mind boggler? The mind boggler is, well, right now Satan's carrying out a plan of genocide against the human race. But we, remember we were talking about the Come Star, that Come Star attack that happened on January the 27th, 2021? I can tell you why it happened. You see, my men were going out to the moon because they had to do something about Sarah Avery, because Sarah Avery was a, approaching, she has a vagina that is about ready to be a black hole because she's a gargantuan woman, you know? And yeah, man, you know, she was created, the Jesuits created her and well, so we were gonna try to, she was getting so fat, she was, the blobs of fat were going through the prison bars and they had to find a new place for her because she was getting ready to turn into a black hole. Well, guess what? So that's why my men went out to the moon. They were going to transfer her to the moon. Satan doesn't like that. He wants her to become a black hole. His goal is to destroy planet Earth and replace it with the cum star. The cum star is Earth, prehistoric Earth. You say, what? Yes, you have got to check the post at my website, okay? <laughs> There is stuff that I cannot talk about here at YouTube. <laughs> You've got to go check. I'll have a link to it underneath this video. Yes. The Laurie McBride Jesuits have are using time travel wormholes created by two black holes, one of them being Sarah Avery. She's not a full black hole, but apparently she's close enough to one that they're able to use her as a black hole and another black hole or black holes out in the universe. And that's why they tried to destroy my website because I posted a letter that I wrote to Vladimir Putin December 7, 2003. And <laughs> I didn't know it, but I, had, I was commenting about a newspaper article that I read in the paper where it talked about how the, um, if you have two black holes close, you can create a time travel wormhole by using the energy, I think, from two black holes. Yeah. And that's what Satan's, I, what I believe he's doing. So these Laurie McBride Jesuits are living in the prehistoric Earth. And they're traveling to our Earth through a time travel wormhole. So let's say we've got a Laurie McBride Jesuit who is a Fox News broadcaster, okay? And I'm not going to limit it to Fox News because it's obvious that CNN and MSNBC are loaded with Lori McBride Jesuits too. Basically, Lori McBride's taken over all of mainstream news, okay? So let's say they're living on Fox News and they commit a death penalty violation of a conspiracy law, okay? Because they just went out and 
killed a bunch of people or something, you know, so we have to deal with them. So if we go and try to deal with them, they vanish with a with this bright white light. I'm telling this really happens. They vanish with this bright white light and it's like they just disappear. And I and I told my son, I told my men, you know what this I told my actually it was one of my Patreon supporters. We were talking about this at our last hangout. I said, you know what I think that is? That's the time travel wormhole. These Laura McBride Jesuits, and I talk about this in my post, they disappear. <coughs> they disappear to the past. To the past! Yeah! They go through the time travel wormhole and escape from us. And apparently, I don't think you'd want to go follow them because you know where the time travel wormhole's taken them? To Satan's mineral garden earth. Prehistoric earth. Yeah, evolution's a bunch of hokey. Uh, Satan invented that to get to get you all down the wrong track. I actually have an honorary PhD from Dallas Theological Seminary, and I'm a Bible scholar. Yeah, you have got to check out my web post. Yeah, I am most. Of, I make videos throughout the week. I make a video every day. I post my walk, walk video as being hosted from my website. And like if my YouTube channel goes down, which apparently isn't going to happen because or else Jesus wouldn't give me a Gale commandment to make a YouTube video every week. But if it does, I can host all my videos from my website. Now, I'd have to make them shorter because I can't go really long because I'm only allowed to upload so many megabytes, but I could still do it. So anyways, folks, if you want to find out all the little nitty gritty details about yeah, they're all escaping to the prehistoric Earth. You see, this is like, it sounds like a science fiction movie. you got to understand that I'm Jesus Christ's favorite, and we are dealing with Satan himself. And Lori McBride makes love to Satan on a regular basis. Yeah, I, this is what I think is happening. You know that pink globe that you saw at the moon? Isn't it interesting that we can't find it? Yes, with all the advanced technology we have on Church and Gale, we can't find it. You know why we can't find it? Because it doesn't exist in our timeline. It exists in the distant past. So it's kind of like this: a Fox News person could be working at Fox News, uh, spewing a bunch, of, spewing a bunch of lies. Oh, believe me, the mainstream news is lying about 50% of the time. Everything you're hearing is lies. Lies are on the internet, lies. Uh, you're only allowed to promote Satan's lies. If you tell the truth, you get censored. <laughs> That's, now my website, which is totally finished, and it's the official website. From what I understand, when you go to my website, you can get a link that will forward you to Gabriel Chana Fox News. So, everybody, you need to go check out my website to find out all about so let's say somebody at Fox News uh, is has done something has committed a death penalty violation of my conspiracy law and we have to go after them they vanish in a poof of light when we when, literally I'm not kidding when we show up to go get them <laughs> they and I think what's going on is they the time travel wormhole just sucked them up and brought them to their home on the come star which is the prehistoric earth. Mm -hmm. So when my men saw that pink globe out by the moon, uh, the reason Satan showed up is because he says, no, 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 no. You are not going to put Sarah Avery on the moon because if you do that, it will, it will ruin my ability to use my time travel wormholes. He needs Sarah Avery to remain here on earth. Yeah, that's how he's able to use the time travel wormholes. Because one of the black holes has got to be near Earth for them to work. And that black hole is Sarah Avery. <laughs> yeah, go check out my website. Also, Satan is carrying out a genocide plan right now. He's trying to destroy the human race. And everybody in the news media and all of the big tech, tech giants are cooperating with him in this. And if you do not want to be a victim of his genocide plan, you need to check out my website, okay? <laughs> You, you, uh, yeah, man. Say, basically, Satan and Lauren McBride are carrying out mass genocide right now. 
it is in the work it's happening right now okay and basically it's gotten so bad it has gotten so bad it might be a good idea for people to throw out their television sets <laughs> that's how bad it is man <laughs> and maybe only trust the, about the only thing you can trust on the internet um, is maybe go, go to DuckDuckGo. Don't use Google anymore. Google's like, you see, but you took over Google. It doesn't matter. It's like Jesus told us, even though I had Zach take over Google, Microsoft, Apple, and all those places, there are so many Lori McBride Jesuits there, and they're all escaping to their home in prehistoric earth. That I mean, we can't get rid of them. So they're still running things. So go to DuckDuckGo, go to my website, go to Gabriel Chan of Fox News if you want to stay alive and healthy. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> I was kidding about throwing out your television set because uh, you can get Gabriel Chan of Fox News at 00 on cable. But I was just trying to make a point that there's not much you can trust on television. America.